came and welcome back to Germany Thank first. Um, how were your first days here? Uh, good. I just tried to catch up on my sleep. Um, long flight, and then I uh, had to do some work with the doctor, make sure everything was ready to go, and just trying to catch back up now. Got a workout in this morning, and um, just ready to roll. On Friday, you guys uh, will start the tournament here in, in Bamberg. Um, mm -hmm. How does that feel for you? Well, I haven't played basketball since April. I've been just on my own, working out, shooting, running, you know, lifting weights, all that stuff. So um, it's going to be interesting to see if I can get ready by Friday or not. But I, I assume, you know, just as long as I'm ready by the time the Euro, you know, the Euro basket starts, that'll be good. Well, this time we have um, we have a lot of um, high class teams here to, yeah. to play here. We have we have Greece here, we have Turkey here. You you are also going to play against China. Mm -hmm. um, how does uh, these opponents um, match well, for you? I have played against China. Obviously, we played in the Olympics. Um, played against Greece in the qual or excuse me in the Olympics as well. Um, two separate teams. I've been played against Turkey. I know they're very good. Um, I think everybody's bringing all their their great players this year and. Uh, it's going to be an interesting tournament. I mean, there's a lot of teams that can do a lot of damage, and it all depends on how you're playing that day and how your coach is feeling. And if everything works out well, it works out well. Sometimes it can go bad, sometimes it can go good. Our team has actually been together for quite some time, for three mm -hmm. weeks actually. They've played a, um, a tournament uh, this weekend in, in Turkey. Yep. Um, how do you keep up with the, with, with the team and how they're doing? Uh, I usually get emails from the Secretary General of the uh, Basketball Organization, Federation. Um, I get emails from him, um, but uh, my parents live somewhere where the internet is very slow, so I wasn't able to watch the game. But I, I found out later that uh, they played very well and the young guys are uh, ready to play. So hopefully, me and Dirk can, uh, you know, help as much as we can and try to make it happen. How does that feel for you to play with the uh, 2011 NBA champion? I'm just, I'm happy for him. I'm glad he, uh, he had the opportunity to play again in the, in the finals, and I'm, I'm glad he, uh, he won and. Um, you know, it was a long road for him, I know that, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just happy for him. And uh, to be able to play is just kind of something I, 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 I was sitting at home uh, just working out, so I wanted to get out and play anyways, and just the added bonus with Dirk being involved is, is that much more exciting for me. Okay, let's talk about uh, the Eurobasket, let's look a bit ahead of our preliminary uh, round opponents. Try not to do that, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, what is your take on Germany's chances to, uh, to make it to the next round? Uh, I think we have a good chance, I mean, I think uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I definitely think myself and Dirk are going to need a little bit of time to kind of get used to the field of who's playing. There's a lot of new guys from the 2008 team, some old guys as well. Um, so I think it's going to take an adjustment period for us to kind of adjust to play. But ultimately, me and Dirk have been playing. Dirk especially, you know, five years more than me in the NBA. So he knows how to play the game. He knows how to win. And, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But uh, it's hard to say right now. We have a long way to go still. Um, but like you said, the friendly games, the Super Cup. So there's a lot of different things that have to happen before that. But uh, I'm just trying to be optimistic about it and look for us to play the best we can. Okay. Thank you uh, very much. Yeah.